Hi everyone, today I wanted to share with you this scrapbook kit from Heidi Spa. It's a Memory Files 40 piece scrapbooking kit and I was really curious as to sort of what it is and what to do with it as I hadn't really heard about it or seen much about them. I had actually ordered this around Christmas time and it actually only arrived a couple of weeks ago and I completely forgot about it. The colours and things really sort of spoke to me as as I've mentioned before I'm one for like bright colours and things like that. But this comes with four memory files, 10 stickers, 25 rub-ons and one photo book. So firstly I'm assuming these are the rub-ons. I've never actually used rub-ons before. I don't really know how to use them to be honest. Not necessarily anything that I'll be using probably with this kit. So then going by the list of things, this is a photo book I think because this is the only one that's actually different. So that's the photo book and then these are the memory files. You sort of just get bigger as they go along and then the biggest one which is the sort of the the one that I would say that you sort of start with, like everything goes in here. I quite like all the different designs and they've all got sort of quite a vintage sort of look as well. But let's put them all back together, all as one. I'll do them in size sort of order. <laughs> it also came with this, which these are the 10 stickers that you get which aren't actually that big but I can see now that they are all sort of designed and shaped for all the tabs which is really good. So yeah that is the a quick look through one of the memory file scrapbooking kits by Heidi Swap and if you keep on watching I will show you how I'm going to use it. So with this kit I have decided to try and document my eldest daughter's birthday from last year because we all went on a sort of family holiday and I've got all these photos that I printed off then it's not all the photos from the holiday but there's quite a few photos that I really wanted to sort of print off and have sort of to hand to be able to look through them whenever because it obviously we all enjoyed ourselves so I've got all my photos here, as you can see they're all quite sort of bright colours and you know nice and cheerful, <laughs> cheerful colours, bright colours and I just thought that this little kit would be perfect because even though these photos have quite bright colours I feel like these sort of muted colours sort of tone the colours in the photos down a bit so I didn't want to do anything sort of too, too, too in your face, but I'm going to speed up the video now so that you're not watching me faff around too long. Um, and I hope you enjoy the process. I will be back at the end to show you and talk you through whatever I managed to come up with. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy it.
memory file. I finished it yesterday, but then stopped filming and decided to do my talking through it today. As you can probably hear, I am a little bit under the weather, so I do apologise for that. I decided for this to keep it pretty simple. I didn't want to decorate too much, but I did want to brighten things up and, you know, put happy birthday and things like that. But I really just, I didn't want to go too overboard with it. This for me is something that I can pull out if my daughter asks to see her birthday photos or, you know, as a little quick look through something because I need cheering up or something like that. So it's bright, fun, cheery. I haven't done the journaling yet, but I will be doing it at some point soon. I'll start at the top to just talk through things. I kept this side, it was when they had the beach day. It was sunny one minute, but then cloudy the next. So I thought that was quite fitting. And some more photos of my, both my daughters playing together. I've got some journaling spots on this side, but it also rained as well. But I thought I've had these stickers for so long. Um, you probably will notice in the video itself that a lot of the things I am opening up for the first time I've actually had them for years in my collection and I haven't had chance or time to do anything with anything sort of scrappy related. So now is my time for sort of using things up. Yeah, this is how I used this smaller photo file, I think it was called. Down here I used the destination sticker, then we have some glittery arrows which annoyingly glitter got everywhere as soon as i opened the pack <laughs> um and of course we went to butlins so i used the butlins logo just to fill up the bottom of this page and here is the page overall but what i did this side was one of the file folders i think it was one of the smaller ones and then the big one as well so on the sort of cover page it was my the whole trip was because it was my daughter's fourth birthday so I used this photo which is one of my favourite photos from her birthday and I used the happy and I used some letter stickers for writing out birthday and I thought that worked out quite well. As you would have seen I decided to mount some of the photos on some cardstock just so that it didn't sort of get dragged down by the darkness of the blue because the thing was that I didn't really like the blue inside but I really liked the outside and I wanted to use this on the outside so I just needed to sort of try and make the photos stand out a bit because some of them don't have much colour on or the colour will be quite sort of neutral. I left another journaling spot as well. I do actually have our wristbands somewhere so I would like to include them I think in this but I might also use that for my Smashbox. <laughs> anyway, that is the first little file folder. And then on this side of the bigger folder, I mounted some photos on some blue card because I wanted to sort of tone down the sort of pink a bit. I used all of these pieces of ephemera, which the pack is the Grace Taylor Forest Friends paper die cuts. I'm not 100% sure where I got them from, but you can see them all there anyway. Because they all came from the same pack, obviously they work well together and the colours just sort of went with the photos. This mainly is photos of all the rides that they sort of went on and really enjoyed. So we have the teacups, my youngest. Bear in mind she was only two in this photo, she was just turning three. She really wanted to go on this ride and adults weren't allowed and her big sister didn't want to go on. So she went on her, on her own and she was just a tiny little dot going round and it went under a tunnel and I kept on thinking, what if she gets off halfway through? Like, what if we need to go in and find her? But obviously she was fine and she really loved it. She, she just has no fear at all. Then they got the face painted as well. So it's my youngest, she loves dinosaurs. And then my eldest, she asked for flowers and butterflies, I think it was. So that's what they got. <laughs> As I said, I wanted to keep it quite simple. I wasn't sure exactly how I wanted to use it or how it was going to go. I must admit that I was struggling a little bit because I felt a bit too sort of restricted. Not necessarily because of the kit itself. 
it was almost a lack of inspiration but also this is more of a a memory keeping file but I do prefer just sort of going in sticking things down not really worrying about where things are going and I think I really did overthink this which was a little bit uncomfortable for me but I really really do like the outcome especially because it has documented my daughter's fourth birthday and a uh, little trip away perfectly really so I definitely would recommend that if you want something to document these little trips and you know just sort of one-off things things that you wouldn't you wouldn't really fit in your smash book or journal or you know anything but you want something sort of you can grab and it's to hand whenever and it fits perfectly on a shelf and keeps everything contained nice and flat i definitely would recommend one of these little kits yeah i didn't use any of the stickers or anything on the side i literally just used what, one two three four of the pieces and i really i did enjoy it in the end so yeah i hope you find this helpful and have enjoyed watching don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and thank you for watching anyway and i'll see you all soon bye